Mike Parallax here to entertain you with the help of Michael Penn. What if I were Romeo in black jeans? What if I was Heathcliff? It's no myth. Maybe she's just looking for someone to dance with. Boom, boom, boom. That's a song that was popular <laughs> for a little while anyways in the late 80s. Um, Michael Penn, he actually was on Silent Live as the musical guest in 87, I think, when Madonna was the host. So I always, I, I don't know, I'll have to Google it. I don't know if he's related or Sean, to Sean Penn or not. <sighs> Speaking of Madonna, you know, it takes a lot to uh, get me to feel queasy or like I'm going to regurgitate. But if I have to see my, that, that video floating around of Madonna, an aging Madonna, <laughs> in a bathtub with rose petals, bitching about how suppressed and oppressed she is, <laughs> I think I just might lose my lunch. <laughs> Ooh, long work day, 12 hours, and uh, an eventful day on social media, too. I got, a, uh, I got accused by somebody, James Darcy, got accused of being a puppet. <laughs> I don't know, I'm afraid you have me confused with Barack Obama. Uh, I, I honestly thought he was going to be the guy to uh, stand up for uh, the working stiff like me. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> it uh, took the more colorful uh, the Donald. <laughs> I made a, already made a video about that. I'm still dealing with my shame thinking Barack Obama was a real man. Yeah, I was back on back and forth uh, for the last couple of days with this James Darcy on a uh, Dennis Prager speech um, video. So, what about Schwarzenegger? <laughs> Boy, <laughs> you know this country gave that man so much, and he sits there and has the gall to tell us, "Screw your freedoms." Yeah, Fauci is God. Fauci knows what he's talking about. Fauci's the expert, like he's the expert on a, on, uh, on the bicep. Fauci's the expert. You follow Schwarzenegger's logic, then we all should just hang it up and never get out of bed again. <laughs> complete contradiction. The man has become a complete contradiction to himself. Also, another one, Sean Penn. <laughs> Um, I get the feeling like he doesn't feel like he's doing his job because there's still people in the world who don't need that stuff. Uh, let's call it uh, additives, <laughs> like I said in on my other on that other video I did, I made. Um, yeah, there are still people in this world who don't need additives to be happy. Unlike he needed additives his whole life to be happy. Problem with these freaking celebrities is they're all surrounded by brown nosers. They're all surrounded. Nobody is is willing to to remotely disagree with these people. Like uh, whatever you do, it, it's it's uh it's uh such and such. Fill in the blank. Any celebrity's name. It's such and such. Whatever you do, just be agreeable. Be agreeable. It's no wonder these people walk around like their fecal matter doesn't reek. A while back, I uh, found uh, Madonna's uh, brother's Christopher Ciccone's uh, book, and uh, you know, and he uh, basically was ostracized by her because um, <clears throat> he, uh, her, her little brother, her gay little brother, he was no longer when he when he got to his own point in his own life where he didn't need her. To get by and ha you know have a life of his own, he was no longer willing to live to go along with the uh, Madonna, Madonna world facade. Uh, it's been a long day. I, I, I'm just going to end with a joke. This is a joke I heard a while. Is a joke I heard a while, quite a while ago, years ago. But anyways, this guy says. Uh, so the joke goes. Uh, I was at a restaurant. And there was a family of four in the, in, in the uh, table next to me. And a little boy kept turning around and smiling and waving at me. 
thing. You know, so I, 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 I smiled way, way back. Hi, little boy. You know, you know. And then he looks right at me and says, I have Spider-Man on my underpants. <laughs> and I thought, geez, an adult could never be that free. You can't go to a job interview and they ask, well, what do you feel, you know, qu um, um, uh, makes you qualified for this position? You can't say, well, I think my resume speaks for itself. But on a side note, I just like to say I have Spider-Man on my underpants because <laughs> I don't think you're going to get the job. Unless, of course, the hiree has Spider-Man on their underpants. <laughs> now, I know what you're all wondering. Does this guy have Spider-Man on his underpants? <laughs> well, that'll have to be one of those things for me to know and you to wonder about. <laughs> Mike Parallack, thank you for your time.